Hey guys, it's me Zell, and we're here with another episode of Miss Marvel. Today we're on episode four, Seeing Red. So things are starting to ramp up a little bit with some intense action from the djinn that are going after Miss Marvel and her family and friends potentially. So we're going to see a little bit more of sure of her backstory of the how she got powers and her family. Is she gonna go visit her grandmother? So that is what's up in the air. So I'm excited for that. Um, and just a um, few little quick announcements for folks who are newer here. Um, I'm Zell, this is my YouTube channel and I do a lot of reactions here. So um, welcome and take a look at my past videos. I also do Star Wars along with Marvel. And if you want to check out some live stream, I also stream on stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zell. That's X-E-L-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Give a follow over there and I do a lot of um, gameplay, random games, whatever I'm in the mood for. Um, sometimes questions tend to stem around Star Wars, but you can get on there and hang out and chat with community and me. I also do just chatting streams, like I said, and sometimes we'll watch um, content on stream. So check it out if you're interested. Otherwise, let's get going and see what's in store with little, I'm just spacing her name. I keep, anyways, forget that. My brain doesn't work sometimes. Let's watch Miss Marvel. Oh, so they actually are getting on a plane and flying there. She somehow convinced her mom. My daughter had lost there we her go. Voice, except for asking for more candy. Whatever it is that you've been up to lately. That guy's like, I'm between them. Kamala, you remember your cousins, right? Kaku Chacha's children? Yes. Zainab and Oasis, you are taller than I remember. You are still really short. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Kamala! That makes me emotional. I don't know why. Oh, there's mom. Hi, mommy. It's good to see you. Come on up. There's some tension there, uncertainty. That's a beautiful house. Okay. We lost so much during partition. Pretty. I like that one. The only way I can hold on to what we had lost was to create it myself. That's, they're all really cool. Aisha. Pretty. Her nanny obviously sent it to them, so she knows. Nanny, why did you send this to oh, me? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Am I a jinn? Of course. At least that is what my father told me. Oh, you're so casual about this. I know, right? I, I, I don't see what the whole fuss is about. It was a hot summer night. I somehow got separated from him until a trail of stars appeared and took me right back into his arms. On the train, the, the one that we're seeing in the visions, is it the, 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 that train from that night? Yes. The bangle is mm. trying to tell you something, Mala, Vita. Please don't be weird. <laughs> we're here to visit. The point is to visit. Hmm? So let's go. Bye, <laughs> Did you know warm this thing was death? Oh my gosh, really spicy. Eighteen hundred. Ha 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 ha! Those glasses. Left again. One more left, and then right. Little little down that donkey cart. You're getting me. Left, left, yeah, left, a little right donkey cart. Ant Man. You can start small and still be larger in life. Dude, what? Not sure what's worse. Those glasses you tied on, or that mask? Are you following me? I sensed the noor. Then why are you trying? What are you trying to hurt her? She's getting better with her stuff. You're wearing a shirt that says New Jersey. What is this look? No one likes the outfit. Whoa, girl. Ah! <laughs> Fair. I'm glad they made it realistic. Well, that's good. Where'd you learn to jump like that, Ninja Turtles? Where'd you learn yours, huh, Donkey Kong? Why are you guys being cute you? if you're trying to kill her? Come with me if you want to live. What? Just kidding. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> really, we should go. Fair. Whoa. 
That's freaking cool. Welcome to the Red Daggers. Wow. Fancy. Ooh. But for a descendant of Aisha, I'm sure we can make an exception. How did you know I was... My name is Walid. Walid. Your great-grandmother's stories of the clandestines are not like the jinn you've heard about in stories or in religious texts. I mean, if Thor landed in the Himalayan mountains, he too would have been called a jinn. Oh, what hmm. are they? I see. And what am I? Whoa. This map shows you how our two worlds coexist. So is there this touching on the multiverse? That we cannot see. Yeah. This is just until there's nothing left of it. And that would destroy everything and everyone. It is important to keep that bangle safe. Get up. Oh, I feel bad for him. Come on. They only had one person guide. Oh, there you go. He made his choice. Wow. Sloth baby. Everyone call her Sloth baby. <laughs> Sloth baby. Cool name. Thank you. Thank you. At least someone appreciates it. How do people just find friends like that so easily? Maybe that's just what being extroverted's like. Is it spicy? Dry grow. <laughs> well, that space says. It's not too bad. What? Another crush for her? These toffee boxes. Well, they're for you. You liked them as a child. So I just kept them around just in case you came back. I may have eaten Aww. most of them along the way. <laughs> That's an interesting yeah. chair. That's cool. It's hanging. Or is that a bed? Maybe it is time for you to start considering coming to live with us. In America? And there I thought you went halfway across the world to get away from me. I wasn't Aww. trying to get away from you. I just needed and a And even change. after Baba left you, you continued to Aww. cling to these fantastic theories. I didn't need your stories, mommy. I needed my mother. Ah, I feel they're both of their emotions. They did so good. Cool. There is history in every thread of this fabric. So you always remember where you came from. You're not alone. That's so cute. Am I a red dagger now? It suits you. Dude, what the? Surprise. Cool. Oh, that's freaky. Ugh. Every time I That's a cute little thing, I know. Move, move! Oh no. Why'd they separate? <gasps> Dude. It's always interesting to think about how they fi film all these chase scenes. No, he can't be dead. He only got stabbed in the shoulder. That's oil, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, there's serious consequences. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Did she just get teleported back in time? Wow, they are just covering that train. 
Oh my gosh. How would you find anybody? What the heck? So many questions. So she gets... I mean, it sounds like she's got sent back in time and she's gonna... You know, I don't know. It's it's just really interesting. It's cool. It's gonna be cool to see that. Um, yeah, this, this episode was pretty good. Um, it had a lot more slower moments, but I liked it because it was going back and showing some of the like with her mother and her grandmother and their relationship and her kind of finding this interesting red dagger um, organization and just basically try to put the pieces together to find out what everything means, what she's supposed to do to protect herself. And even like her own identity, like her grandmother was talking about how, or in the red dagger folks about like if Thor was a lander, he'd be considered a djinn and that they're that, her great grandmother Aisha is from a different realm, like these clandestines. So it's just really interesting um, to think about. I, I think her grandmother's kind of little message about <clears throat> being born one place and then um, being forced to go to another and finding confusion in the identity really mirrors what Kamala, I'm sure, is feeling right now. And maybe even also mirroring, obviously, these clandestines and feeling torn between two worlds. Obviously, they're just taking a more intense, violent um, way. Like, maybe their point is, is that there is another way for them to return that doesn't require destroying the veil and thus destroying Earth, right? An interesting take, I'm assuming, different dimensions, same thing. They're touching on multiverse, yeah, multiple different realities, so... I'm trying to recollect if there was a reference in Doctor Strange of maybe touching in this clandestine dimension. But uh, really cool that there, I really find that exciting, this multi-dimension, multiverse aspect. Yeah, just a lot of fun and interesting to see, obviously, them showing these beings from another world and what they look like in our world. So we've seen that with like Thor, but that's almost like, you know, or Guardians of the Galaxy, like that still feels in our dimension, just in these other universes and planets, right? Just more out in the stars. Um, so yeah, a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I'm excited to see where it goes next. And I hope you are too. Thanks guys for being here and watching. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I don't, upload on a consistent schedule and if you want to be alerted first and as soon as the video goes live subscribing and making sure the notification bell is checked you will get alerted of that so go ahead and do that otherwise appreciate you being here and i will see you on the next one